All right, it says here to use the square root property to solve the equation. And here we have x minus 2 squared is equal to 49. Well, remember the, the square root property uh, tells us this, that if you have an equation that looks like x squared is equal to c, then the solution to that equation, there's two of them, x is equal to plus or minus the square root of c. Now this works if you have something squared equals a number. And it's important to realize here that the left side of the equation is a number or a quantity squared. Everything on this side of the equation, in other words, is being squared. So when you look at the equation that we're trying to solve, it's not a simple single variable squared. It's this binomial x minus 2 squared. That's OK, because the whole thing is being squared. If we had a 3 out in front of this, we'd have to get rid of that 3, because the 3 is not being squared. Everything on this side has to be uh, part of the, the exponent, or it's got to be the base of that exponent. And it is. So I can jump right into using the square root property and take the square root of both sides, which would give us the square root of x minus 2 squared is just x minus 2. And the square root of 49 would give us plus or minus 7. All right, so now we've gotten rid of the square. The right-hand side, fortunately, was a perfect square, so we just get plus or minus 7. But we don't have x by itself, so what we have to do is add 2 to both sides of this equation, which would give us x is equal to, well, it's going to be 2 plus or minus 7. Well, those are going to give us two separate solutions. Uh, one solution is 2 plus 7. The other solution is x is equal to 2 minus 7. So the two solutions are going to be 9 and negative 5.